All right, let's uh, cut this guy open. This is the SSL. We got a user's manual it looks like, which is going to be good uh, for any technical documentation we need to know for power limits or uh, shutoff procedures or emergency procedures or um, anything we need to know uh, related to uh, technical information uh, for when we're pumping energy into this thing for the sound waves where some of the lower frequencies require a lot of power. Uh, pretty simple packaging. This is really a scientific video and so we're not going to go into like, you know, the normal like, oh, they pack it right or like, you know, uh, I guess, you know, for science people uh, who are buying uh, audio amplifiers for uh, powering uh, wave drivers, um, this is good to get, gets. So, uh, simple uh, styrofoam packaging. This thing's pretty heavy to be honest, which is good, because the last one seemed kind of flimsy. I don't know how I felt, felt about that, especially with some of the bass, uh, the low range uh, power that I was putting through it. <clears throat> this is it. And so we're not playing music through this, we're not playing sounds, or songs, we're playing sounds. And so uh, what we're gonna do is uh, just play tones through this, and maybe combinations of certain tones. But some of these tones are like, you know, the 46, 47 hertz range. And so they're just deep, 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 deep tones. <sighs> Sorry to get this out right now while I leave this camera. All right, so uh, this is the amp right here. Um, we have uh, see if you can see that channel one, channel two, battery, remote, ground, and flip around. So you got your input, your input controls, your filter mode your bass boost and your remote control um, there's actually a remote for this that allows us to control it looks like uh, the amplitude I guess you would call it of uh, I don't know which ranges it is I don't know if it's the the, the overall amplitude if it's the, if it's the overall amplitude of the entire of the entire uh, the entire system that would be great because uh, then we can just dial up and dial down different frequencies which has been kind of hard for me because I've been using the software on my laptop uh, to change the volumes and so if I can uh, change the volumes using a dial that would be great and then uh, later uh, if I can get one or if, uh, if somebody wants to send one uh, um, a decibel meter uh, so we can know exactly at what decibel we're working at. Um, that would be great. And so uh, I'm working on attaining that. Maybe something through my school or something. Uh, talk to the physics department. But uh, yeah, remote uh, power adapter. We'll find out what that's for. Uh, we got the drive here. Um, let's see. Um, all right, next video. So what I've decided to do first is uh, mount this amp and I'm going to be mounting it on this uh, enclosure. Um, I will uh, put all the dimensions in like uh, with the video and, and all the data and the lab data and everything and like my diagrams and everything.
of the speaker box and uh, the amp and all that good stuff. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and mount this though. And so I'm going to try to set this camera up so you guys can see that. And then we also got the Camtasia live feed. Uh, Alright, let's do this. Alright, so uh, I just took the uh, wave driver. This is the wave driver assembly. Uh, if you're interested in that part. Just uh, dual coil. Uh, uh, for the low end and the mid range and high end. Uh, an acrylic uh, cylinder. That's our wave driver assembly right now, what we're working with. Uh, this is the box, just a standard speaker box. Uh, I had to take the wave driver out though, because we are going to put this on its side and I'm going to uh, mount this guy that way because uh, what I was doing before wasn't smart and I realized it. And so we are going to do it the smart way. Uh, so, yeah, we're doing that. All right. So, let's just put you down here. God, this is science, right? This is amazing, man. We used to, like, when we were kids, we would, like, like, get our, like, speaker boxes all, like, really nice and get, like, the best sound we can get. For music, man. For music. And now I'm, like, building this and I'm, it's like, for space propulsion research, right? It's a totally new world. New world. But it works so far. On the older amp, the the, the 300 watt amp, um, it didn't have enough juice. It was working. We got some really nice patterns in the like podium. All right. That like feels like it's in. I feel so happy with that. I don't even want it to rattle though, so it's like I got a cold boost. Alright, that's on. For sure on. Uh, these wheels I got at Home Depot. These are really nice. They lock. And so, and if you have any like lab experiments and you have to like create your own like uh, vessel like this, uh, you can uh, mount these. Uh, I probably should mount these. I better touch those up right now. But you can mount these and they're they make great, great whips. I think these came loose. Two separate, two Alright, so we got a new amp mounted, right? 
now we can power those deep waves that we're looking for. I almost feel like maybe I shouldn't mount this thing. It is built to be mounted on the speaker box, though, right? It's built for vibration. This will be fun. Okay. Uh, 